Pterodactyl here, and today I guess I'm gonna have to make a custom Muffkin or Slippers 10XL project that he's been working on clogging up my shop with all winter long and fall, which is under that cover there. Can't see it, you can see part of it. And what I'm gonna use are these. Salt and pepper in the house, yeah! I'm gonna use these pepper shakers, they call these muffkins, and I'm gonna make a custom muffkin for him using salt and pepper. So this is my plan. I'm gonna take these muffkins and I'm gonna cut them like this, right on where they seamed it. And I'm gonna take the, the shaker part off. Now I'm gonna have to trim this down and then I'm gonna weld it back together. So that's how much I gotta trim off. And then I can weld it back together on this seam and that seam will be heavy enough. So that way, I've got an inlet which comes out of the engine, one inch. And then I'm gonna choke it down slightly with this reducer to three quarter. And I'll show you why after I get it all welded together. So I'm gonna trim some of this off and then put this together and now I'm gonna weld it up. So I took the whizzer wheel and I just cut this sliver off. I used the ends of the holes in this thing as a guide and I cut that off and then I took it in my blast cabinet and kinda got that rust off of there so I get a good weld and look. Look at that. Now we got a nice heavy seam to weld on so we can give it a good weld and not have to worry about blowing through. So all I gotta do now is weld it real good. Weld it real good. Now to hold the two halves of the muffkin together, I use the long half inch bolt. And then once I get attached, I can take that bolt out. Well, it's real good. This custom muffin I'm trying to put on this thing has been a real challenge. Because I had a few ideas and none of them worked out. The first idea was going to come straight out like this. And then with this reducer, it was going to lower the center of it. And then we were going to 90 up and then put a little rain cap or flapper valve on it. But the problem with that is when you close the hood, the hood is real close to this. So it's gonna get hot and then it's gonna ruin that powder coat. And then another idea was to notch it a little bit, but again, then we're gonna be cutting into this. Plus this lever to raise and lower this blade is real close. So the pipe that would have came up like this would have got hot and probably would have melted that uh, decal. So that idea was out the window. So another idea was, all right, maybe if we put a 45 on it and we kind of kick it down like this and then we can put like a little tailpipe sticking out. But again, the problem with that was when you raise and lower the blade because of the implement, I mean, that would work if you weren't putting an implement on it. You know, even the one coming out and going up would have worked because you could come out further away from the hood. But with this implement on here, that's a problem. And since this, we can't swap this to the left side because they do make a, a snow plow where this is on the left side. Well, that's a little too late because we got everything done now. And then this space in here is real small. They didn't give you a lot of room when they put the muffkin on this thing. You know, the original muffkin just blew out right here. I'm sure it turned everything, you know, black and heated everything up under there. So the 45 idea would have been good. You know, you could do that too as long as you don't have an implement. Then you could put a little straight pipe on there and that'd look cool. 
So our last choice, and the one we're going to use is we're going to come out the front. Oh, oh you, you, you got your muffler going or what? Yeah, slippers. It's been a challenge. Oh, look at this thing. All right, what'd you come up with? All right, so this is what we're going to go with. And then you're going to have to clean all this stuff up and paint it with the high heat paint. Ooh. Sandblast everything. And that sounds like fun. I can't wait. So we're going to do this like this. And we're going to have the exhaust is actually going to come out the front. Yeah. And then we're going to sharpen that baby up like a spike. In case of zombie apocalypse. So we'll center it up through the hole in the grill and we'll put our screen in there and we'll go around it. Get your head out of there. So look at it, look at it. You know what it reminds me of? It looks like a face, like an old man's face and he's chomping on a cigar. So we're gonna take this one inch pipe and we're gonna cut it at an angle. Right behind the threads here and then the pipe will come out the front. That's what it looks like to me, it looks like a face. And an old man with a cigar in the corner of his mouth, chomping yeah. on it. We'll wait until it's sharpened up like a spike. Then it's gonna look like the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, let's get this thing done and get it out of here because I got my own projects I need to be working on. I'm helping you every five minutes. All right, it's almost there. Yeah, well, now you can take everything off and sandblast it and clean it up and Cut your angle and All right. paint it with high heat paint. There's my supper. <laughs>